What is a little bit different for you moving back into the midweek after you did it a little bit last year? What was your mentality going out there today? Uh, same as always, just go out there, throw strikes, attack guys, give us the best chance we can to win. I mean, the extra days off, we're just letting back, uh, back and arm, get some rest, and kind of heal. Actually, we just healed my back after tightening up at uh, St. Mary's, so the extra days were, weren't really a factor other than just give me some extra rest. So, And what have, what have you uh, taken from your Saturday starts this season, uh, being able to pitch behind Corey Miller, and uh, what, is, what has that enabled you, and, and what does it mean to be in that weekend rotation now? It's a big deal, especially, you know, in this conference, if you pitch well, you can pitch. And pitching behind a guy like Corey, who's who's been through it twice, in sophomore and junior year, now he's going through it a third time, and he's still obviously doing really well. It's 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 really nice to have that experience in front of you, so you can watch and learn from a guy like that. So, and tell me a little bit about how you've grown since last year, uh, moving from the midweek. Uh, what has been one of the biggest differences as far as what have you had to do to to be more consistent this season? Uh, control. Really, uh, especially with the off-speed, being able to throw it for strikes in any count. Because last year, I kind of I would struggle at times with throwing a curveball for a strike or not having some change up either. So I really had to work with uh, the off-speed and to be able to throw it for a strike in any count. I had to have it in. So, and is that kind of what showed up in the sixth inning when they were able to get a couple runs? Is you know you did it looked like you didn't have your your curveball that necessarily that inning. Um, they actually were at, they picked me at that point, so they had all my pitches before I even threw them. So that's that kind of cost me obviously. So, and when when a team's able does something like that what can you do to make an adjustment uh against you know seeing that i mean is that something you can do in game if if you realize that a team is picking up your pitches it's kind of hard to do for anybody because you know when you're out there on the mound you're not thinking about the small stuff but if they do pick it you can change small stuff you just have to uh you just have to be conscious of it like most of us like when we're out there on the mound we're not particularly conscious of you know the small ball movements but the other teams that's exactly what they're looking for so you can change that stuff but you have to really focus on it so